Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Welcome to We Like Dota. This is a We Like Dota uh, patron broadcast, match broadcast, I guess you could call it. I'm not sure exactly what to call it, but that's what we're going to go with. This is brought to us by Sky Ninja's own Captain America. Uh, he is at the patron reward level where I broadcast one of your matches for YouTube and Twitch each and every month. And... Uh, yeah, so more than happy to do this. Uh, we're going to have a good match here. I'm not sure which one Captain America is playing because he does change his name often. I think I think it's either he's either playing the Sniper or the IO. I'm not sure which one. But regardless, we are going to have some good Dota here. So let's go ahead and get into it. We do have uh, Lifestealer going into our safe lane. Omni Knight buying up some wards and some, some regen. We do have a Broodmother immediately going for the Soul Ring. Um, I'm not sure who bought the Courier. I would assume it was Omni Knight or Io. Probably Omni Knight. So it looks like we're going to have maybe a little uh, room contestant. Contestion? Contestion? Contesting? Contestion? Whatever it is. And Disruptor just walks right in on his little alien donkey thing. And Sniper's uh, glimpsed back and... He'll get away with that, no problem. So he does have about half the way to uh, to level two now. And this bottom bounty rune has not been taken advantage of whatsoever. So that's interesting. We do have a Broodmother in the mid lane against a Death Prophet. Not sure if that's... Not sure if I like that or not. All you need is a support to just come and put a Sentry Ward right down in here. Or shoot, just have Death Prophet buy some. Uh, we do have the Disruptor Legion Commander lane. Um, which is not too bad for a dual lane. You could have uh, some really nice uh, synergy between the uh, the dual and the abilities from Disruptor. And I do have to apologize. I'm a little sick, so I do feel a little flemmy. <coughs> a little flemmy, which is fine. And this is going to be a tough lane for this Omni Knight and the Life Stealer. Never a fan of dual melee side lanes. Um... But I do like Bristleback, so there's that, and I do like Zeus. I'm not sure if I like them in lane together. I think you'd have some contestion for for who's laning. And we do have Zeus teleporting into the top lane, trying to get some early aggression going on here. Probably trying to deny Sniper a little bit of farm here. And okay, looks like we're going to have a little bit of a fight here. Io's going to be glimpsed in. Disruptor getting low on health. Io getting the last uh, last hit there. And it looks like one more right click is going to go ahead and take down Io. And Zeus is getting low. Sniper getting the last right click there. Legion Commander getting quite low as well. Will he be able to juke him away? Trying to find a good angle here. Both heroes are getting quite low. And I don't know what's going to happen here. A nice bash and god mode enabled for Sniper. And Io is going to go ahead and tether in, but no! One last right click from Disruptor is going to go ahead and take down the Sniper, and oh my goodness. That brings our score up to 4-3, and three, and somehow in the middle of all that, uh, Death Prophet died in the mid lane. Death Prophet and Broodmother, I think they both killed each other. Jeez, what the heck's going on around here? All right, so here we go. A little bit more uh, little harassment on the Disruptor here. He does need to be quite careful. He's getting a little low on health. Io's going to go ahead and turn on the light show, trying to do some AoE damage. Sniper's going to go ahead and just keep right-clicking. Disruptor getting quite low here. Press the attack will be used. Legion Commander getting quite low, taking a lot of hits from the right-click. The uh, negative earn charge will be used. And Zeus go goes ahead and teleports in, using the lightning bolt, a full effect here. Sniper's getting a little close to this tower, not taking any damage quite yet. The bash is... Uh, yeah, there we go. The Bash is working in their favor. So that's going to be four kills on the board already for Sniper. So God Mode enabled here. Bristleback getting killed in the offlane. Uh, Omni Knight and Lifesteal are getting assists for that. And it looks like we're going to have Broodmother go ahead and teleport in. Not sure what I feel, how I feel about that. Okay, she canceled the, the TP. I don't know. Who would that have been? That would have been... I guess that would have been LC. Somebody was teleporting in. I thought it looked like the Broodmother thing, but that wouldn't make sense because she, you know, can't teleport up here. So Sniper's going to go ahead and do some work against this tower. Not going to be able to do too much yet, but, you know, a little uh, little damage here and there is okay. Going to be go ahead and be glimpsed in. The kinetic field's going to be used. Sniper trying to throw down a, a little bit of harassment from his Q. 
And he's taking quite a bit of damage here. Zeus is going to go ahead and use as many lightning spells as he can. Sniper's getting quite low. And uh, the negative earn charge is going to go ahead and take down Zeus. So not, all in all, not a terrible exchange. Well, except I have just died there. So that's a two for one. Not, uh, not exactly what you want to have happening here. But, uh, you know, worse things have happened. And this lane has certainly been a highly contested lane so far. And it looks like it's just going to be the uh, solo offlane bristleback here, which I am a big fan of. So watch out for that bristleback here. Sniper is going to go ahead and wrap around looking for some sort of uh, angle here to try and get in. Zeus going to go ahead and use some spells. Disruptor getting quite low yet again. And Zeus is just in... Uh... No, Io getting the kills here. What's going on? Uh, but yeah, Disruptor's in all-out feed mode here, and Sniper is getting quite low yet again. He is down to about 644 health. The Io really hasn't been able to do too much to keep him keep him healed. You know, uh, he's just been... Sniper's just been kind of going balls to the wall here, and uh, man mode enabled, or dwarf mode, whatever the heck Sniper is. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Io's got a good amount of healing and all that. You know, he can do that sort of thing. But uh, he doesn't really do burst healing, you know, he doesn't, uh, he's not going to be able to keep up with a sniper who's taking <laughs> right clicks and, a, and eating spells to the face from three heroes. Uh, but I tell you what, it certainly is entertaining to watch, so there's that. So it looks like we're going to keep up the tri lane. And I tell you what, if sniper can just keep, I mean, even if he's getting three kills and dying at the same time. They're going to come out ahead against this tri-lane. And this, the, uh, the dual lane fell big time. Death Prophet rotated down, got the kills down there. So look out, Death Prophet's on the move here. Broodmother doing what Broodmother does and trying to just totally dominate this lane. Which is kind of rough if you're Death Prophet, but... I know, she seems to be doing okay. Io turning on the light show. Sniper content to just farm up. Io trying to zone out a little bit. And Broodmother and Death Prophet fighting over this rune. A little little tete a tete going on here. Death Prophet getting quite a bit of gold from the uh, from the broodlings. And here we go yet again. Legion Commander getting low. Sniper eating a ton of uh, ton of right clicks. Negative Vern going to be used. Io getting the double kills yet again. I think Io's ahead in kills now. Yeah, six kills for Io, only four for Sniper. I guess carry Io, right? Yeah, Sniper going down. Zeus using that Thunder God's Wrath. No, that's not Thunder God's Wrath. What is that? Lightning Bolt. So there we go. Carry Io, I guess. Disruptor pinging him out. And Legion Commander doesn't have duel quite yet. I was going to go ahead and float away. Going to go and try and hide under the webs of Broodmother. Wouldn't that be cool if you could do that? If if you could turn invisible on Brood, Broodmother's webs. Like if that was like an Ags upgrade or something. Io tethering in. Oh, Death Prophet's going to turn on the, the haste rune and I think she'll get away just fine. The Disruptor is going to go ahead and rotate in. Says, hey guys, I'm up for the taking here. Oh boy, I don't know. Broodmother, be careful here. Eating quite a bit of thunder damage from Disruptor. Death Prophet using that Crypt Swarm to go ahead and clear out the Creep Wave. Sniper's just going to go ahead and keep farming up. He is falling far, uh, quite far behind on farm. Uh, but he does have quite a, quite a number of kills, so... As far as net worth goes, he's doing okay. He's he's sitting about where Life Stealer is, who has a little bit more farm than him. And the offlane bristleback getting a little bit low. Omni not able to keep this Life Stealer healed up, and Life Stealer did go hand of Midas, so it looks like they're anticipating a longer match. Death Prophet gonna go ahead and use the Exorcism. Broodmother Nio chasing this out along with Sniper, and Death Prophet will fall, and I think they should be able to get a tier one tower off of this potentially. Maybe. At least push the creep wave out and get that down to about half health, maybe. So Broodmother has seen a little bit of competitive play, which I like to see. Still don't really know how I feel about the hero. I know that she can pretty much dominate a lane, given the right uh, combination of things. And yeah, here we go. 
Gonna go ahead and take this tower down to about half health. Death Prophet's gonna go ahead and rotate in. Crypt Swarm being used. And yeah, I think Broodmother's gonna get away just fine. Really weird Broodmother skin here, by the way. It's like a weird armor thing. And the Overcharge is gonna go ahead and be deployed. Legion Commander says, hey, I got that duel. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and feed some damage to Sniper with Sniper with a double kill. And I tell you what, I'm surprised this gun has not started to overheat yet. Are there any first-person shooters out there that have uh, gun overheating mechanics as far as, like, old World War II rifles go? I know, like, the Halo plasma guns and stuff like that have that. And Death Prophet getting really low. And one more right-click out to do it. And, yeah, that's going to be a dead Death Prophet. Zeus rotating in, getting the kill on the on the uh, Broodmother with the ultimate. And Sniper and Io yet again chasing down this feeding Legion Commander Disruptor lane. Sniper just right clicking like crazy. He says, YOLO, I don't care. He does have the ultimate up in another five seconds, so he should be able to guarantee at least one kill here. The duel's gonna be used yet again on this sniper, and what a bad duel this was. That's gonna be more damage fed to Sniper. And Sniper does die from the static storm, but at the same time does get the kill on the disruptor, so that brings the score up to 19 and 12 with a double kill for Sniper. And I don't I think he did get the duel win there, right? Because, no, he only got the one. So the duel must have just expired before Legion Commander, uh, before Legion Commander died. So, oh, that's unfortunate. I would have liked to see that. That would be great. And Bristleback's going to go ahead and dive in on Omni Knight here. I think he's just, uh, kind of doing a little harassment. Harassment. Omni mean, like, not doing too bad. He's got the arcane boots and the and the stick. Ward vision not the greatest, only one ward up. But Disruptor does have this double damage rune. I hear some some IO relocation action here. And Sniper's just gonna go ahead and right click him down, and that's the end of that. IO getting the kill there. Legion Commander getting a kill on the Broodmother in the midline. Or excuse me, Broodmother getting the kill on the Legion Commander. Sniper getting another assassination kill on Bristleback. And that's the problem with Sniper. Like, if you're playing against... Sniper's so... E like, as long as you're decent with positioning and... Um, and you don't feed, like, Sniper just gets out of, out of control. Unless you have, like, some stuns or something, which they don't really have any stuns on the side of... on the side of the Dire. So that's gonna be a mid lane kill. Io getting the kill on the Zeus. Uh, yeah, so this this is getting out of hand quite quickly, especially with this sniper. The ultimate is deployed, doing quite a bit of damage to a uh, sniper and to the Omni Knight. And Death Prophet getting the double kill there, sending two heroes back to the well. And what are they doing? They, no, push the tower, you guys. Push the tower. What are you doing? You have exorcism up. What are you doing? No. Come, come, no, come back here. Right here. Tower's right here. Right there. Click on it. <laughs> Take it down. What are you doing? All right, so there's that. Broodmother returns back to the mid lane. No vision up. Gonna go ahead and right click to reveal herself. Io's gonna go ahead and tether in. Taking down the Zeus. Legion Commander is probably gonna be forced to back up. Tower doing a little bit of damage. Death Prophet in here. Doesn't have the ultimate up though. And I think this is gonna be a Legion Commander kill. And Broodmother is in quite a bit of trouble. I think that's gonna be a... No! She gets away thanks to the webs. And... Oh, you need to be careful here. We got Disruptor right here though. I kinda want him to go in for a Disruptor kill. Yeah, I think it's gonna happen. Omni Knight getting the heal bomb off on the on the Broodmother, and oh, the glimpse! I don't think this is going to be enough. Trying to deny himself to Roshan, and yes, Roshan! Roshan is on the board, ladies and gentlemen, taking down the Disruptor. This has just been a bloody match so far, good lord. 26 and 15 at 13 minutes in, jeez. Sniper sitting on the Mithril Hammer, the Wraith Band, and the Ring of Aquila? 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 I don't know what it is. But yeah, they're going to go ahead and continue to push this out. 
No problems here. Io in full effect doing tons of healing. And where is... Where is Lifestealer? Oh, farming up. Alright, doing what he does. There you go. And yet again, the Zeus killing the Omni Knight. Broodmother getting the kill on the Death Prophet there. The, the, the duel's going to be used on the Broodmother, but the Io is really keeping him alive there. And I think... Yeah, the Legion Commander didn't even get that duel off, so that kind of sucks. Is the ultimate up? Mm, yes, it was, but he was able to get a double kill just as Bristleback was killing the sniper, so there you go. Three for three in the mid lane. Maybe not necessarily the smartest engagement, but we do have Lifestealer rotating in. He does have phase boots, and that's really about it, so it is a little scary. He, uh, Io is trying to heal him up. The Infest will be used on a creep, but he used it on the wrong one, so he's not going to heal up from that one. So there's that. Right, because you want to use it on a... The creep will heal life stealers health to the, equal to the current gears. Okay. So I guess... Right, so when you use it on a creep, it heals you. So I guess he just picked a creep that was low on health, I guess. I'm not sure what happened there. Negative Vern going to go ahead and tick away on Bristleback. No big deal here. Broodmother getting a little aggressive here. Bristleback getting quite low. Uh, I don't recommend fighting under towers like this. Uh, but, you know, whatever. It's clearly working out okay for him so far, so... So there you go. And just the range on this sniper is really crazy. And I gotta give, I, I actually do like the disruptor pick for sniper because you can glimpse sniper when he's chasing or glimpse him back to where he was, or, you know, get him out of range. And yeah, that's gonna be another disruptor kill. Um, but I think what you really need for sniper is blink heroes or Vengeful Spirit, you know, who can do a swap and stun or, you know, something to that regard. And hey, Legion Commander finally getting some dual damage. That's going to be four dead. That's a one for four. That's a one for four exchange for the Radiant. And this tower is going to go ahead and go down. And holy cow, this match is... This match is pretty much already over. Sniper getting the kill on Death Prophet there. We're up to 13 kills, ladies and gentlemen. This Sniper IO combo has just been insane. The uh, the carry IO in the early game was crazy. I'm impressed with the number of kills IO was able to get. It's in... Yeah. <laughs> it's not... You know, you don't pick IO to get a ton of kills, so I'm impressed with the ability to do that. So good for them. Nice little combo here. And Sniper's going to have a Desolator at 16 minutes. Look out. Say goodbye to your towers. Lifestealer sitting on a uh, Hyperstone. I like that. Oh, yeah. Doing tons of damage. Though Sniper doing way more. The Snowball is real for Sniper. So Broodmother and Sniper are going to go ahead and take out this top lane. The Assassinate's going to be used, and Broodmother getting that last kill there to spawn some Broodlings. So, sorry, sorry about your tier 1. Sorry about that. Yeah, and look how much damage Sniper is doing. Good lord. Especially with that nice uh, armor debuff from Desolator. Was it minus 7? Yeah. Nice amount of healing from Omni Knight. Really, this is a pretty poor game for, for Legion Commander with the healing from Io and the healing from Omni Knight. Um, yeah, no wonder she's not getting any damage. Oh boy, Lifestealer trying to do some Ancients here. Getting pretty greedy. Going to be silenced up. Static Storm will be used. He's going to be glimpsed back into the... No, what happened? Oh, he, he went uh, Magic Commune. Okay, he, so he used the Rage. Okay. Well, that was a nice little usage of that. I thought for sure he was going to get caught in that Static Storm. But our four four hero radiant pushing team gonna go ahead and push out the top lane. Disruptor is just kind of tromping around in the mid lane. Not really able to do too much to respond to this one here. Just kind of hanging out on the top lane, and really, there's just no one who can. I mean, even Bristleback. Bristleback, you just really need to blink in and stun sniper, and then he's dead. You know, that's what you need. You just really need that. You just really need those stuns. Hey, a nice kinetic field from Disruptor catching out three. 
The Zeus ulti will be used. Exorcism is going to be used. The Omni Knight uh, ultimate is going to be deployed. And sa sadly, yet again, uh, Legion Commander feeding more damage. I'm not sure who got it this time. And oh, that's uh, that's painful. Who got it? Let's see. Who got the bonus damage? Is it Omni Knight? No. The l duel must have expired before the winner was declared. The wiener. So wait, is it the person that Legion Commander... I guess it's the person Legion Commander dueled that has to get the kill to get the damage. So I guess there's that. I thought it worked. Whoever killed her got the damage. That would be awesome. I think that would make that a little bit more balanced, I think, actually. That way you have to be a little bit smarter about your duels. You can't just YOLO duel whenever you feel like it. And the other team was calling GG, and that's, I mean, that's pretty much what this is. This is such a quick game. Good lord. What a stomp this was. <laughs> Look at this effigy. And they're just going to go ahead and go to work on the uh, on the towers, and we're going to see the end of the game here pretty quick. Sniper sitting on a chrysalis, or should have a chrysalis pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, Lifestealer definitely didn't have a bad game whatsoever. He's got a ton of farm, but the Sniper and IO combo have just had so many kills that, of course, he's not going to be able to keep up in net worth. It's the very definition of Snowball. Snowball heroes. So there you go. Pretty cool Lifestealer set, by the way. I like that one. I think I might have it. Yep. Oh, so that's going to be a Chrysalis and a Maelstrom. Oh my gosh, so much damage. Sorry, I'm a little sniffy. I think Zeus and Death Prophet have just gone AFK, which I don't blame him. Death Prophet almost has that Yules. It's a nice item for Death Prophet. Bristleback almost has that Crimson Guard, which would, which would be pretty good against Sniper, I do have to say. But this is, I mean, this is pretty much the, the, the end of the end. Lifesteal is going to go ahead and use that snare. Going to rage up so that, uh, you know, it doesn't take any damage. To, you know, he has that free BKB, basically. So does uh, uh, Juggernaut. Juggernaut also has that free BKB, basically, from the Blade Spin. Blade Storm. No, what is it called? Blade Whirling, Whirling Death, I think is what it is. Which is good. I like that. You know, Whirling Death into the Omni Slash is a pretty good combo. And that's going to be it. The creeps are going to go ahead and finish off the job here. Now with that one last kill from Sniper. And Lifestealer uh, activating the Mjolnir. Sniper getting the double kill. Maybe even the triple kill before the game's over. There we go. So close. And yeah, there we go. So there's the game. That was an entertaining one. That, uh... Those first four minutes is really what won him the game. That was uh, quite the uh, quite the snowball. So there you go. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot to all of our Patreon patrons. Uh, thanks for supporting the entire We Like Dota crew and what we do. So it means a lot. Any anything you can give helps us out. So thanks for watching, everybody. Check out the website at welikedota.com as well as the podcast. And we'll see you later.